Hey everybody and welcome back to today's video. Today is a very exciting video because I'm going to be creating a outdoor movie theater. This is something I've been wanting to do for a while. I have it on my other island, Maplewood, so this is something I wanted to do for Overlook. Um, so that's what we are going to be working on today. So the very first thing I just started by doing was just clearing the area that I was going to be building this. I'm building this literally right next to Candyland, so that's fun um but then i just started to do some terraforming i literally despise terraforming i don't know if anyone else feels that way but it's like my least favorite thing on this planet um but i did it anyways so i just started by making you know these uh two cliffs but then i realized i had to have three so i had to eat some more uh oranges to dig up the trees to do that uh, then once I made three of these, I just decided to go ahead and add, you know, one down the middle. Uh, and then I had to extend it more and more and more until I had three towers. And looking at it now, it looks like a giant cake. Um, and then I just added these projector screens in this area, except I was struggling. I couldn't get this other one to go the right way, um, which was really annoying. But we eventually got it, so that's good. And then I started to put these simple panels out, but I had to customize them first. So let's go do that. So I uh, just used this custom design that is just, you know, looks like a curtain um, that I'm going to place at the bottom and the top of the cliffs. And also my villagers are always with me in this video. Like every single clip, they're, my villagers are like sitting next to me. So watch out for that because it's hysterical. Um, so then I just started placing these simple panels just right up against this cliff. You know, just to make it look like a theater. I just, I could not leave that cliff like that. It would have looked ugly. I was also taking um, inspiration from a picture I saw on Instagram. Um, a little bit of inspiration from that. That's where I got the idea to do the whole cliff, which I think it turned out really good. So I'm glad I did that. Um, but I just kept placing that. Then I had to do so much time traveling in this video to get more panels because I didn't have enough. Um, so I did that and then I had to place some up here at the top. So I placed those at the top and you can kind of just see how it's starting to look, kind of starting to look like like a actual theater, which is really cute. Uh, but then we had to time travel more. So then after I placed all of those, I started to place these floor seats. Um, and again, here's, I don't know what this villager's name is. I'm sorry. This is bad. I'm sorry. He's super cute, but I don't remember what his name is, so I'm sorry. Um, but I just started to place these floor seats, and then I just added some flowers and things like that. But it was just, it was just not going. It was not, it was not a vibe. Um, it is a very small area, so it was very hard to decorate, but I think we got it. Uh, and now we have Cherry joining us for this. So I added more floor seats, but what I didn't like was that if I added another row behind this row, then you wouldn't be able to sit, actually, and then, you know, Cherry wouldn't be able to sit. Um, so I ended up having to move these, this floor seating back kind of like this a little bit just to provide more space. Um, and then I tried to add this we're open sign, but it was like an absolute disaster. <laughs> it would not go anywhere. And every time I would try to place it somewhere, it would just like not work. And it was really annoying, but whatever. Uh, so I was originally going to place it back here and like move the tree, but because it's so close to Candyland, I have to like make sure that they look separate. That's why I wanted to make this a cliff is so that it looked separate from Candyland. Um, but it was just a disaster. Like it was <laughs> it literally, I was trying everything and it wouldn't work, but we eventually got it. Uh, and then it was just like little decorating because I had the main idea of it at this point. So I added, you know, this rocket lamp. I added some flowers and just some random things that I thought would make it look cute. Like I said, it's a very small area, so to decorate it was a little challenging, um, but we eventually got it, so I just placed random items that I found um, here. I had to do like a week's worth of time traveling for this. It was insane, like absolutely insane, um, but I wanted to turn the TVs on, you know, for obvious reasons, so <laughs> I uh, that's what I was doing here, was turning the TVs on so that they'd actually look cute. Um, and then the next day, I decided to add, like, kind of a beach area, like a concession area on the beach. So I added this, um, stall, and I used this custom design code. Also, if you guys want the design codes, um, I will, I'll try and post them in the, uh, in a community post. Although, sometimes I forget, so 
that's more likely to happen um but also from one of my followers when i visited their island they gave me a super cute ice cream cone so that's what i used for that so here's how it turned out it's to the left of Candyland. i think it turned out really cute it was super like simple like it looks simple but at the same time like it was a disaster to put together and i don't know why it just required so much time and time traveling um but i think it turned out really cute in the end and i'm very proud of it so let me know what you guys think um i i mean i didn't extend it all the way down the beach because i want to use that back beach for like something else but i think it's like perfect and i cannot wait to see if the villagers sit here because if they do i will literally die inside because it's so cute um and so yeah i think it turned out really cute and i'm very happy with it so thank you all for watching this video make sure that you like and subscribe and then make sure you follow me on instagram i will leave all of my instagram links down in the description below and like i said if you want the design code to this i will try and leave it in a community post um but thank you guys so much for watching and i hope to see you guys soon bye guys Thank you.